455, 456, 457. Hi, Santa baby, put a halo under my tree. Thank you. Well, I can't believe that we almost raised our entire UNICEF goal one week before Christmas. Nick, hello. That's a squad record. Amazing. You know what's amazing? What? We could buy a Prada jacket and a Gucci tampon holder with this charity money and no one would ever know. <laughs> Hi, honey. That's a joke. Oh. Hey, um, you know what I was thinking about? Marley Jacob would be so proud of us for this fundraising, you know? I can't believe she's been gone a year. It feels like forever. Hey, you guys were good friends too, weren't you? I mean, before we became really close. Oh. Do you have a pad? I'm out. Oh. Thank you. I miss her. Do you miss her this time of year? All things on and all? Hell yes, I miss her. She taught me everything I know. Practice those words over and over like I taught you. Make it a mantra, darling. Because that is exactly what I want you to say at my funeral. Marley, maybe this isn't my place being a newbie, but maybe to avoid the funeral, you should eat something. <laughs> Maybe you should give that buffet table a pass. Your arms are fat. Thank you. Now, how much money have we collected for UNICEF? $360. This is going to help so many people. <laughs> what? Are you stupid? The only people that this is going to help are us. But Brooke McQueen was saying that if oh, what? Miss City Moral Co-Captain doesn't know, won't hurt her. Are you in or are you out? You do realize what it's like to be out, don't you? You know, hon, if you're gonna be on the squad and be one of my popular girls, new clothes aren't enough. You need to style the hair, get disposable lenses, get into my groove completely. Sure, Marley, anything. Marley, you okay? okay? Should, Should I put you some, some carbohydrates? Nick, hey, you look like you saw a ghost. Are you okay? You didn't answer my question. Um, yeah, do I miss Marley Jacob? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. <laughs> oh, hi, Carmen. Hey. Yeah, if you're looking for the cafeteria, it's down the hall. <sighs> Actually, Nicole, I was looking for you. Um, I, I heard about the cheerleader UNICEF Christmas fundraiser, and I, I want to contribute, so a week's worth of lunch money. So. <laughs> Carmen, that's so great. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, Nick? Oh, yeah, it's great. Thanks, hon. Bye, Carmen. Bye. Hey, Carm. FYI, wannabe, you can brown nose all you want to, but it's not going to earn you extra points during second semester cheerleader tryouts. I didn't give money because I wanted something, Nicole. I gave because it's Christmas. <laughs> bah humbug. We'll think it over once or twice. We'll last the longest in this life. Character or rock hard fight. In the end, do you believe that beauty lies in what you see? Cause if you do, then baby, you've been deceived. Well, me, maybe we hate It's just that I'm tired of being compared. Guys, I hope I don't sound too cornball here, but really, this is the prettiest Christmas tree ever. <laughs> yeah, it's great, all right, if you're into a James Bond Christmas. Why are we decorating a fake metal tree? I thought Christmas trees were supposed to be green and smell good. We designed this tree to go with the house. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get some garland to put on the staircase. Real greenery with field berries and pine cones. Great, do that, Sam, and enjoy cleaning up all that mouse duty that a sloppy organic Christmas inevitably leads to. Oh, Dad, we have to go to Art's house and meet by this Thursday or there'll be out of butterballs and I need a good turkey for my Christmas party. Brooke, you throw a party on Christmas? Yeah, every year. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do the same thing. My friends wake up, spend Christmas Day with their families, and then come to our house at night to eat and diss the bad presents they got. This year, why don't we merge? We'll have one big party. What? Sounds like fun. <laughs> Arsenic. <laughs> How about a new dream? Come on, what happened to your leg? Well, you know how second semester cheerleader squad auditions are in like two weeks? Yeah. I thought I'd get a leg up. No pun intended by taking this hip hop class after school. I really wanted to make it this time, Sam. 
So anyway, I was practicing this totally complicated sassy move that would like impress him. And I felt my ankle snap. And now I don't get to audition. You know, Carm, maybe you should look at your crippling tragedy as uh, a blessing. Now that you've taken yourself out of the running for cheerleading, we won't have to do it again for you. Sit down, Ferrera. Welcome to the last day of the semester, my little terrors, and what a semester it's been. It goes without saying that you have been my nastiest, most disobedient class ever. As today dawned, I said to myself, Bobby Glass, give those little brats the final. In Latin. What? I don't speak Latin. And then I remembered, it's Christmas. To me, the meaning of the season can be conveyed in only one word. Give until it hurts. So that's what I've decided to do. Oh, Miss Glass, sir, presents for us? In the spirit of Christmas, you all get a homemade fruitcake and catnip toy. Oh. And all your GPAs raised half a point without benefit of the final, which is canceled. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, what was that? You said that? Oh, hi, I did. I've been saying it for a week, and I'll say it again. Bah humbug. Miss Julian, would you uh, like to explain that response to me? With pleasure. All year long, you've been making our teen lives difficult with your insanely complicated tests and your hours of homework, and now you expect my heart to expand for you because you're passing out these hideous flower tires that I'm going to end up using as a doorstop? Fat chance. Miss Julian, AKA Satan's child, may I remind you, you're on the wrong holiday. See, Halloween was two months ago. You can put away your horns and your red scaly tail. You don't know what Christmas is about, miss, clearly. Oh, I do. It's the time of year when the suicide rate is highest, when lonely, deluded people pretend to feel comfort and joy and then crash two weeks later because all they're left with is credit card debt. Christmas is just a silly holiday kept alive to bolster the National Economic Index and relieve a little guilt. That being said, I repeat, bah humbug. Miss Glass, there's a cat hair in my fruitcake. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See what this stupid Christmas line mall at four girls and don't be light. I've got a Brazilian wax book at six. Yeesh. Man, I can't believe you have to share everything with that little nutcracker. Yep, including my traditions. Carm, come on, cheer up, okay? You can audition for cheerleading next year when you're healed. I know. I know, it's just... Okay, my New Year's resolution this year, for the first time, was not gonna be to diet, because I'm totally through with that. It was gonna be to follow my passion, you know? And dancing's my passion. But look, it's Christmas, right? Time to be thankful for what you have, not what you want. I mean, there are a lot of people that are worse off than I am. <laughs> like them, for example. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? I mean, if we feel like outsiders, what do Freddie Gong, Emery Dick, and the Tuna Twins feel like? Yeah, we feel really bad for them, but we don't ever do anything about it. You know why that is? Because they represent to us everything that we're afraid of being unliked and unpopular. It's just fear and ignorance that keeps us from breaking bread with them in the cafeteria, that's all. You know what, guys? Maybe it's time Emery and his posse got a group secret Santa. Hey, you guys. Um, I was thinking. I think this year for Christmas, we as a squad should... Um, Give a gift. I want to give Carmen Ferrer the fifth slot. Brookie, I'm with you on this, darling. Now, Carmen Ferrer may not be the stereotypical raven beauty like me, but as 
the semester's progressed, I've noticed she's got trace spirit. Yeah, I think Carmen's great, and she's pretty, and she's nice, and she can shake her ass like nobody's business. I say in the spirit of the season, let's do it. Okay, then. It's unanimous. Right? Nick? Sure. I'll put Carmen on the squad when hell freezes over and or Melissa Joan Hart gets nominated for an Oscar. Nick, come on. You've seen the advanced triad audition list. Carmen is far and away the best dancer. I don't even feel like this, this gesture would be a compromise. You know, I'm getting really irritated with this spirit of the season crap and the Cottle Carmen movement. Come on. Do you think it would kill you to lose the attitude for one day? You want a charity, and we've got one. I'm off right now to drop off donations. See you later. Y'all, after that cruel diatribe, I know what to get Nick for Christmas this year. A hunk. Of coal. I, I think she's acting this way because of Marley. She she died this time last year, and I just don't think Nicole's really ever dealt with it. Merry Christmas, Prince Ball. Of course, you must know why I'm here. Oh, it is wonderful to smell you today, Miss Julian. Of course, I know why you're here, dear. Every year, the cheerleaders raise a pretty penny for UNICEF. It is a wonderful giving tradition you girls have started. Yes, well, every little bit helps. There you go. Feliz Navidad, Principal Hall. Feliz Navidad, Miss Julian. Welcome to Clinique. May I help you? Well, well, if it isn't bioglass. Earning a little extra cash for the holidays? Uh, well, actually, yes, Miss Julian. I, my sister, Nurse Jessie Glass, has had a hankering for a hairless pussy. She saw that Austin Powers sequel six times this year. She just loves Dr. Evil's cat. <laughs> um, I want to make her Christmas dreams come true, but those pussy cats ain't cheap. So the job came up. I needed the cash and I already had the lab coat. How wonderful for you, Miss Glass, to be in an environment where the customer's always right. Quite a change of pace for you from the fascist educator techniques you employ in the classroom, wouldn't you say? Can I interest you in a sample of our dramatically different moisturizer? I'm here for uh, exfoliation purposes. I'll take the clarifying lotion number four. Can I get anything else today, Miss Julian? Yes. Your manager, you stupid fool. Manager? Manager, I need help. I'm Godfrey, clinic manager on duty. May I help you? Yes, your incompetent saleswoman here just sold me the number four clarifying lotion. I know. With my delicate, fair complexion, I need the number one. Miss Glass, number four is for oily complexion only. It is an intense exfoliant. I, I, I didn't know. I am tired of informing you about a product line of which you are supposed to be educated. I'm sorry, I, I just don't use these products at home. <laughs> Apparently. You've got pores the size of hubcaps. Not a good face to be pushing products, don't you think? Miss Bobby Glass, sir. I'm sorry, but you are discharged. Oh, please, sir. I, I'm a teacher on a limited income. I need this job. I'm sorry. You're fired. Miss Julian, Merry Christmas. your cheerleader mentor, Marley Jacob. Oh my God, Marley, is that really you? I always knew you had no bounce, but now I can see it so clearly. You're so lucky. Do you believe? Sure, share. Okay, whatever I believe in is aberration. Why do you want me? To warn you, Nicole Julian. Learn from me. I am condemned to walk this earth forever, to see over and over what I might have shared and turned to happiness. I wear chains I made in my own life. I made it of my own free will when I ignored the unpopular and the suffering and dedicated my every waking moment to being a greedy, hard-ass, self-centered bitch! Tonight, you will be haunted by three spirits. 
Expect the first when the bell chimes one. Rest assured, I will haunt your every eight count and post-lunch purge unless you see the error of your ways. Remember me. Remember me. I don't need the dramatically different moisturizer, capiche? I come not to hydrate, but to warn. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Get your ass out of bed, Missy, you're coming with me. Where are we going? To see clearly events that have been terrifying events that will inform a potentially dreadful future. Are we going far? Far indeed! As long as your life, Nicole Julian! She's so beautiful. Yes, you are. That's me. Mother? Yes, that's her. Why isn't she picking me up? She never did. Not once when you were vulnerable and in need of loving care. She wanted to be something, anything other than a mother, I'm afraid. We don't get along. Apparently, we didn't get along even back then. I hate her. There is one who cared for you. Other than Calvin Klein, she's the only person you've ever loved. Nana. Nana, I'm here. Hello. She cannot hear you, my dear. These are but shadows of things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. Then why did you bring me here? Well, my dear lost child, although you've turned into a spiteful, bilious hag, you didn't start out that way. You were pure once and uncorrupted. Bad children aren't born that way. Cruelty is a taught skill. Oh my God, Vanilla Ice is so hot. I want to marry Vanilla Ice. I want to marry MC Hammer. I want to marry all the new kids on the block. Do you know where you are? Yeah, I went to school here. I never got to sit with Mandy Shepard and Ariel Murphy. You never got to sit with anybody, did you? That's not me. Yes, it is, dear. No, it's not. OK, look, see, hon, I'm a spirit. I have supernatural powers of clairvoyance. That little porker was you. person inside of you, just ready to shine through. And all you have to do is smile. There. I have something for you. An early Christmas present. I think after the day we've had today, that we deserve it, don't you think? She didn't even say goodbye. I'm done with this. No, hateful one, you're not. Your journey's just beginning. This is Kennedy High. This is where I go to school. Indeed. And your reign of terror began one year ago.
I look so hot. Yes, you do. When Marley died of anorexia, you sucked up her spotlight within a month. So what? She had the best facials, the best hairdresser, and with Marley out of the picture, I had co-captain needs. With her out of the picture, the trace of humanity that once pulsed in your veins was replaced by ice. Ass face. Pillow biter. Scumbelina. Skank breath. This year, your villainy has been exceptional. Given the opportunity, did you ever try to ease pain and uncertainty? Oh, hey, rookie, what? your new roomie, Sam McPherson? I overheard her telling everyone in French class that you bite your toenails. What? Maybe you should find her and slap her in the face. Lies. All lies. Oh, hey, Spam, guess what? Your new roomie? Well, I overheard her telling all the hot guys on the team that she saw you naked and you have cellulite. You're never gonna get a date now, cottage cheese thighs, but your legs could open a salad bar. I was just having fun. At everyone's expense but your own. Even when confronted by yourself, you still choose ill will over empathy. What do you mean? I love myself. I treat myself religiously. I get a mani and a petty once a week. The person who was the Nicole of old, the true Nicole, is the person you go out of your way to destroy the most. What are you implying? That I'm Carmen? Aren't you? Look closer. Why is, why is Carmen crying? Her tears today were a result of a cruel taunt. Her tears were because you denied her the one thing that would have made her feel accepted. Cheerleading. Well, I'm not her. I'm ugly. I've seen enough. You haven't. Look at Carmen. Look at yourself. No, I won't. You must. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. Cherry, what are you doing here? Out of the spirit of Christmas present. Is your heart still unmoved by what you've seen tonight? Look, I've tried getting help, okay, but I'm always smarter than the therapist they send me to. Why don't you just leave me alone to deal with mental health and Christmas in my own way? We should not live Christmas only one day, but rather celebrate it in spirit all the days of the year. Now, you've chosen not to celebrate Christmas in your cold, steely heart. Therefore, you're going to come with me to the Christmas about to be and witness it in the hearts of teens of goodwill. Now, a magical star of Bethlehem facsimile, purchased at Neiman Marcus, will guide us with its shining light. Wow, check it out. You know, um... Despite the hell of living with you, I'm kind of glad they found each other. Me too. Wait a minute. They hate each other. They're not supposed to be nice to each other. Oh. <clears throat> Here. What is it, a bomb? No, I bought you a little gift. Merry Christmas. That's so sweet. You went to. Wow. Oh. Huh. Shall we? <laughs> Radiohead concert tickets? Sam, that's so great. Well, they're one of my favorite bands. I thought you might like them too. No, I I I, I do. Thanks. Boom. <laughs> What's this? You know when we had to go to dinner for Jane's birthday and they made us pose and smile like a family. Yeah, I hated that night. Yeah, me too. But um I really love that picture. You look really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. If even Sam and Brooke can make peace for one day of the year, then there's hope for all mankind. Even you, Nick. Hey, Mike, business. Miss McQueen, let me just say what an honor it is to breathe in your heady Christmas oxygen. Uh, not knowing where the evening will take us, I've brought precautionary shrubbery. 
Emery, um, what is that stuff? It's mistletoe. <laughs> you owe me big time for this one. Mr. McQueen, Mrs. McPherson, we just want you to know how much we appreciate Brooke and Sam's Christmas bash. For you cool suburbanites to open up your designer show home for freaks like us, well... It's really nice. Thank you. No, we love having you here. Um, excuse me. Hey, Carmen, um... Look, I know it's a drag that you have to try out it again, but it has to be a unanimous vote. Well, it's cool. I understand. Okay. Okay, wait. Emery Dick is at Brooks with the Tuna Twins, and Brooke is patronizing social outcast Carmen Ferreira with vegetable dicing sweet talk. See, now I know I'm dreaming. No, it's not a dream, evil bitter gal. See, it's the season. Also, hun, you may want to switch from that cookie to a cellar stick before we move on to our next riveting Christmas tableau, because if your honey gets any bigger, I'm afraid we won't be able to fly. Yo, yo. An apple juice toast to Brooke and Sam for throwing a slamming Christmas party. Yeah. 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 I think I would like to make a toast, too. To families. Merry Christmas. To all of us. God bless us. God bless us, everyone. This is great, isn't it? Everyone who was invited came. Thanks, guys. Well, almost everyone. Nick's not here. Maybe she's at home, polishing her broomstick. I just don't understand how anyone can boycott Christmas. No, well, you guys, I have one word, and it's karma. What goes around comes around. Even though she didn't make it, I'd still like to raise a toast to Nicole. I am not raising a toast to her, no way. I wish she were here. I'd give the little witch a big piece of my mind. Come on, Sammy. Tis the season, right? It should be Christmas, on which one raises a glass of health to such an odious, stingy, hard-on-feeling wretch as Nicole Julian. Um, Sam, I think that the boys are right. Maybe we could uh, try to forgive and forget. Maybe a little just Christmas. Good for you, Carmen. That's the spirit. Okay. I will drink for your sake and for the days. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. To Nicole. To Nicole. To Nicole. They were kind to me and drank a toast to my happiness, even though I make most of their lives a living hell. Oh, hark! My time upon this earth is brief. It ends tonight. The hour of no return is near. Alms for the poor, alms for the poor. Who will give to save the wretched of the world? Oh, spirit, why have you brought me here? There's only one thing left to see. Beware, for it is truly terrifying. Look here, mortal woman. Look down and be afraid. Whose are they, spirit? Are they yours? They are man's. They cling to me as popularity outcasts. The girl is fear. The dirt eater is ignorance. Beware them both. But most of all, beware the unpopular dirt eater. For on her brow, I see written your fate. <laughs> Are you the spirit of Christmas yet to come? I fear you most of all. Once the single cell mutates, I can't study. My heart hurts. I can't believe she's gone. She's the nicest person I've ever met. Maybe she's at peace now. You know? Are you okay, Brooke? Spirit, it's me that passed on forever young and beautiful at 16, right? How did I go? Drunk driver? Too much liposuction? You guys, here comes Sam. Please don't talk about what happened, okay? It makes her so upset. Hey, can I study with you guys? Sure. That's what you think of today? Actually, I did. I do every day. Today I put a Christmas wreath up on her tombstone. Do you talk to her? I do sometimes. Wait, I'm confused. I can understand how Brooke would be devastated at my absence, but not Spam. She's jealous of me and she hates my guts. Yeah, yeah, I do. I told her how proud she'd be about the petition we got signed into law at Kennedy. It's a great law, Sam. It's the way it should be always. Cheerleaders should be determined by talent. Plain and simple, end of argument. Yeah, it's a shame she didn't live to benefit from it. I miss Carmen so much. Carmen? They're talking about Carmen? Spirit, come on, she had a sprained ankle, for God's sake. You can't kick from that. Gangrene is truly a fast-acting killer. No. Oh, Spirit, don't tell me anymore. Oh, God. 
I'm afraid of what I've become and what becomes of me. Just take me home, please. This is where it ends, doesn't it? Did I die alone? Did anyone ever love me? Did I ever love anyone? Oh God, I can't this end differently? I can't end like this. <laughs> I did die alone, didn't I? I had so much potential, and I wasted it all. And for what? I, I, was, I was never happy. I was never content. I was just mean and horrible. <laughs> Spirit, I'm not the girl I once was. I'm someone new now, someone entirely new. I promise. I'll try to keep the spirit of Christmas alive all the days of the year. I could sweep these shadows away. Please, Spirit, tell me I can still change. Please. I'm still here. Thanks for the dream, Marley Jacob. Miss Julian. Holy night and all is come. All is right. Round yon verge. Nicole? Hey, B. Well, don't just sit there like barnacles on a crusty butt, you guys. It's time to open your presents. Mary Cherry, she gave me the pearl necklace I've been admiring for weeks. I think they're real. Check this out. She gave me her country club membership. She's crossed out her name and wrote in mine. This is the best golf course in the city. It's just what I wanted. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I got a lady shaver with a mother of pearl lady handle. Thanks. I got a camera. Nicole, this is really cool. Yeah, that's so you can take pictures for the paper spam, hopefully instead of writing condemning editorials. Deal. For this week, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good for you. Hey, Carm, what'd you get? Um, there wasn't a package with my name on it. Oh, sorry, Carm. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure I got you something. Let's see. Rethmans? <laughs> no. Um, tampons? No. Oh, here it is. It's an ice pack. Yeah. Um, make sure you put it on tonight. We're gonna need your swelling to go down by January 1st so I can teach you the second semester squad eight count. But I'm not a cheerleader. You are now. You're a really great dancer, Carmen, and it would be an honor to have you on the squad. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Carmen. Don't cry. We're gonna need your lungs for our nightcap. Congratulations. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nicole. <laughs> Look, 
Look, Jesse, what's that burning bright? Well, I believe it being Christmas, Bob, it's either the Star of Bethlehem or Top Secret NASA experiment gone awry. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't afford much of a Christmas this year, Jesse. I, I know how much you wanted that hairless pussy cat. It's okay, Bob. I've got my sister here, and I've got my vibrating chair. It's all the Christmas I can want. <laughs> what the hell? Bob, get the gun. Christmas coffee glass. Uh, joy.